Hello, this is Tolf from Trifold Productions with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to introduce you to a add an add-on called the Grove add-on. Uh, but before we continue, I just want to say that if my voice sounds different or I'm stuttering a little bit too much, I'm fighting against the cold. I've been doing this for the past two weeks, so it's really kind of draining. But I'm going to fight through it and persevere. Uh, once you've downloaded the add-on, one thing about the Groove add-on is it's like Speedtree, which is a separate software, which is great, but the Groove is pretty much the same, but it's done as an add-on in Blender, which saves you a lot of time in terms of trying to transfer a tree from Speedtree into Blender. Uh, but I'll leave a link of uh, the download for the download in the description below this video. But the Groove add-on is just really impressive. It's They're on uh, number 10 now. Let me see. Let me navigate to where... They've they've actually done a lot of improvements since I've downloaded it myself since I've been using it. I use I'm using version six now, either version five or version six. But now that I'm version ten, it does a whole lot of more stuff and it's just something that's pretty impressive. But once you've downloaded it, you go to the same process of trying to, to trying to install it, go to file. And oh sorry about that, go to edit and preferences. And then install. And just navigate to where you've installed it on your system. Click on that. Once that's been activated, you put a check mark in the box because once you've installed it, it'll automatically pop up in the in the display here. And just cl click a uh, on the check box, check box, but check mark. I'm exit out of that. And we're going to delete this cube. Let's press delete. And we're going to press add new. <coughs> They can pick any tree you want to use. I'm going to stick with the default tree, which is the alder tree, or the ash, or the ash tree. I'm going to stick with that. If you look here, there's nothing. You have to, in order to get the leaves, the twigs to appear in Blender on your tree, you have got to uh, append them uh, into the add-on. To append them, you go to File. <coughs> Excuse me. Go to File. Append. And I've done this already, but let me just backtrack here. Go all the way back to help out. It's all the all the your appendable files for the Grove add-on are inside the Grove add-on download. So go into your Grove um, folder, and this is mine, the Grove for Blender. Double click on that, and here they've uh, given you some barks to use. There's a lot of bark textures. A lot of uh, twig and leaf textures here also. Now you can use your own tree textures in terms of the bark if you want to, but uh, the ones they provide inside of Grove, they work pretty well. Now I'm going to click on European Birch Fall Twig, double click on that. And I'm using Blender 2.82 for this version of the, uh, of the add-on, for the Grove add-on. I think for um, the newer version of the Grove add-on, it's, it's used for Blender 3 and higher and not anything lower. Now the Grove 5, 6, and 7, I think those can be used for any version of Blender 2.8. So for me, I'm using the Grove 6 for Blender 2.81. Okay. Now I'm going to click on the summer twig. You can click on any blend file here to append, double click on that, and then go to, to this object folder, double click on that. <clears throat> and then left click and drag your mouse up to select both the both these twigs and then you're going to click on append and once you've done that it's going to be displayed here and you want our twigs to be displayed in these slots here so left click and we're going to click on the first option left click there and click on the second option you can increase the density of this so let's increase the density once you increase the density it's going to actually add more leaves to your tree if you look, if you scroll on your mouse wheel, you'll see these leaves here. And this is what Blender's going to use, or the add ons going to use to create leaves for your tree. So you can change the density, you can add more trees here. <coughs> Excuse me again. And you can add ears to it. Let's uh, crank our ears up to, let's say, eight, double the ears. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to leave these options the way they are that the system doesn't crash and then click on grow and give it a few seconds and then there you go that's that's your leaf that's that's your tree now it looks kind of uh 
sparse. So we're going to increase our density here to add more leaves to our tree. And as we click on it, you can see the tree is starting to get fuller and fuller. This only goes up to one. And I think it does that just so that it can kind of preserve your system and prevent it from crashing. Now if you scroll down further, you'll see more options for the pruning and zooming in and restarting your, your tree or rebuilding it. And there are several more options that you can use to uh, actually make your tree the w look the way you want it to look, including the resolution. Uh, right now this is at 516, 516 branches. You can increase that also. You can animate it with the wind, so that's also nice. But yeah, this is an int introduction to the Groove Blender add-on. Once again, this is version 6 of the Groove add-on for Blender 2.8 and above to 2. Point, just below 2. Point, I, I think it's below 2.9, so 2.8, 2.81, 82, and so on. This can be used in it. And like I said before, the newer version of the Grove add-on is much more improved. And I'm assuming can only be used in Blender version 3. But yes, this is version 5. So once again, introduction to the Grove add-on. And thank you guys who have watched the video. really hope this has helped you a lot. And I want to thank you guys who have subscribed to the channel. And those of you who are subscribing now. And those of you who will subscribe in the future. Really appreciate you guys. <sighs> Sorry about that. I'm trying to get through this. I'm about to sneeze, but I will see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.